welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to share some projects I made. Um, basically, they're all like gnome dies I use and different different gnome dies, different ways. So basically, three gnome dies, um, three results, I guess you want to call it. Anyways, uh, I hope there's enough lighting in here. This is Texas, so uh, this time of year, we're lucky we get much sun. So I try to put on as much light as I can. All right, let me start with this uh, first one here. This one is a gnome dye by uh, Taylor Expressions. Uh, Taylor Expressions came out with a gnome dye that um, I think early part of this year, and they decided to start doing add-ons. So for their birthday celebration, they did a um, um, birthday gnome. I'll show that to you right now. Sorry about that. And as always, if any of these products are still available, I will link them down below. This is a birthday gnome, so it came with all the pieces, like the balloons and the cupcake, hearty hat, um, the beard, and so on. But uh, once I picked this up and I really liked it, I decided to go ahead and start with the collection. So I got the first one they came out with. And this one is actually connected. So you can make like an accordion style. I haven't done it yet. But the reason I picked this up because it had all the different hats and all the different beards. And this one had hair, um, like girls. So that's why I picked that up. So if any of this is still uh, available, I'm sure it is because it's part of their collection. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. But let me show you this card. So this is an A2 size card, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, the paper, they're all from my stash, so I really can't tell you much about it. But I went ahead and cut everything out, and that's what I did here. The, um, these labels are actually from um, Spellbinders. I had picked them up uh, during their warehouse sale. This was like two or three dollars for this. So I used the two largest uh, ones to cut this out. And I just picked these colors because they look really nice blue and purple. I think they're a nice color combination. And I just put this happy birthday greeting. This is actually a uh, iron-on, iron-on. Did I say iron-on? Transfer. <laughs> it's a rub-on transfer. I think this is from um, mm, scrapbook.com, actually. Uh, that's what I did with that. Okay, so that's the first one there. The next one, we're getting into... Uh, autumn this little gnome he looks more like a little elf to me but he's still called a gnome he is from uh hero arts and um he's called fall gnome uh, fall gnome it's right there if it's still available as well i will try to link this down below so i had picked him up so I went ahead and made a tag first, and then I decided, no, he belongs on the card. So that's what I did next. So uh, all the papers are from my staff. This uh, tag, though, is from a, uh, um, a stenciled background. So that's what I did with this. I stenciled it. This is, I believe, some fall uh, pattern from, it's from my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, from my staff. These little uh, sunflowers are from Hobby Lobby. And this uh, sentiment here is actually from uh, Crafter's Companion. And I always keep this here by my side because they come in handy. I've had this for a really long time. So I use the Hello Autumn sentiment. And I did emboss it in white and went ahead and um, put on a black piece of paper. I thought it looked really nice. And there's the little fall gnome. He's really cute. He comes with little pieces too. All these little parts. This is just a regular 
It's a rose gold uh, cardstock. And I don't think I put anything in here. Nope, it's blank on the inside. Super, super cute. Oh, and this is a um, embossed background. It's from an embossing folder I have. It's like a fall leaves motif. So, real pretty. So that's the next one. And the last one, I made a tag for Christmas. So, and this one, can't, this little gnome here it's actually from last year's advent calendar, so there's no way of me um, linking this. But just to get, this is just to give you an idea if you have a little gnome, uh, that would be perfect for that. And then the tree is actually from this die here. It's from Spellbinders. This is in, uh, with scrapbook.com, so I don't know if this is available anymore, but this is one of those freebies, I think. And it was called Christmas Tree Topiary. So again, if I can find it, I'll link it for you, but I don't think this is it still available, but it could be. But I'll let you know if I can find it. And so I just took a tag. This tag, uh, I made a bunch of tags a while ago. Yeah, I'm not very much of an artist, but I've been, I was making these tags. So this one I decided I want to use these colors on this because I thought it was perfect with the green and the pink and the orange. I just thought they all blend together. And this bow is from my stash as well. So it's this ribbon. And I was amazed how closely they actually match. So I'm like, oh, I got lucky here. <laughs> and this is, I also found this in my stash, this Make It Merry. I don't know where it came from. I just happened to find it. And I put it up on foam. So everything's up on foam. As you can see here and that was all with that so I'll be making more projects uh, I got some more in the works so stay tuned for that but um, if you have any questions or comments you can leave them down below and again I will try to link below anything that is still available um, from Tele Expressions I had picked this up from them I don't think uh, they sell it anywhere else but you can always check uh, the tree, I'll try to find that. This, uh, this I, I don't think that even, I don't think that's available. And this is from Hero Arts, and I think this is still available. This is really cute, too. Now, he's holding his basket here. It's not a purse, so I don't want to give him any complex. I'm joking. <laughs> if he wants to carry a purse, I don't care. But this little basket here, I went ahead and just used a marker on there. Just to give it a little bit of a weavy, you know. Anyways, uh, that's it. Okay, y'all have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.